Eivor, you return. Here, I am done. Hmm. You have done well. I have collected many treasures in my lifetime. I am willing to part with them, but only to drink it I deem worthy. I'd be honored. Free to return. As you continue your training by visiting more shrines, I will be able to gift you more powerful treasures. As you continue. What do you do here? I am here to train you in the art of battle meditation. Huh? You should go train then. I should continue my training. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. I've been working on some designs. I'll see. Until next time, Eivor! Use your tongue or I will feed it! Enough. Is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. 
I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Elvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Elvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgaard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally. I choose Alfgaard. He's sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boom. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new elderman is Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your elderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. 
a toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Your troubles begin early, Elgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tosser can't have gone far. Race a fear and march against what many has left. Agreed. Unwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents have gathered. Just to be thrown Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? 
We have learned that Herfrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I have gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp, then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. What's wrong with you? Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that oxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Atja taken all this? She and Herivrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Just here. When the feared is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Herifrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we will claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready to fear it. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I did baste myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. as one possessed by a demon today. Herivrith may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You're a good fit for Alderman Alvgar. Just make sure you put the Shia's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. It is a shame Hunwal was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About... Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. 
I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask you? Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'll be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. His ghost will haunt us. There's no ghost. Danes don't have souls. This man is a Norse warrior, and his body deserves respect. Where is his axe? He cannot go to Valhalla without it. Hurry, ran off with it. Don't hurt us. We didn't mean anything. Please. I will not harm you. I just want to get this man's axe returned. Where has this boy gone? Over that way. He was playing with it. Slaying monsters. You there, boy. Give me the axe before you hurt yourself. I am no mere boy. I am Hurry, Slayer of Monsters. You'll have to win it from me in single combat. A Monster Slayer? Well, as a fellow warrior, I must trade for the axe in a warrior's charm. Thick arms of Agir and thighs of Thor. Strength, honesty and wit crave all wise warriors. I can feel this Norse magic running from my fingers to my toes. I bet I can beat you in a race back to that body. <laughs> Look, there's a spider crawling around his eye. Though we know not your name or your clan, you are a warrior of good stock. Odin welcomes you to his table in Valhalla. Amen. And one day, us warriors will join you, fighting monsters in eternal battle.
I need your eyes, my friend. Quite good at this, these Karens. Better than me, that I admit. Yes. This one is your masterpiece. A monument to the gods. Now bask in their glory and receive their honor. The gods rarely have honor. Well... They never live in peace. They hardly bat an eye at jealousy, rage, and madness. Yes, yes. They are perfect. Baby. 
Tina? Oh, starlight, my starlight. A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I'll deliver your feelings. I'm sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you. Oh, thank you, stranger. I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. Sweetness of honey. Oh, stop! Sweetness of honey on the tongue, but the danger of being stuck. It is like love, always a chance of losing. Do you consider yourself a man who has features so delicate that God himself must have painted them on with a fine brush? Uh, yes. Then I have a letter for you. Mm. Thank you. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. Quite the surprise. You've got a beautiful heart and mastery of verse, but I do not return your feelings, Gil. But Sarah, I understand if you do not want his company. He isn't very handsome. He does? The lad with the hair of bracken and smoldering gaze? Sarah, you say? I must compose another letter. Sorry, Gil. Looks like you'll have to face your love yourself. Best of luck.
Who's with me? Baron and Kluven Klimban. That's dull and overmood, my lad, and never yet on a bay or switch it yet and me.
This will do. This will do. Interesting. What? Another. Drinking our rocks. Step up. Keep your distance.
goes. <laughs> Must be blocked from the other side. If an evil man brings you biscuits, do you gift them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 